Gervonta Davis rant backfires on a popular YouTuber very, very badly. Let's talk about that. Specifically, how YouTube content creators' egos have gotten so big that they think they are bigger than boxers. Let's talk about that in this video. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about gigantic egos. Gervonta Davis, who is without a doubt one of the best fighters on the planet. Gervonta Davis, who is a three division champion who is a pound-for-pound pound fighter, who is recognized throughout the world as one of the most gifted fighters we have, is not yet achieved enough in his career where he can make his own decisions. What he must do is follow the leadership of people that are much greater than him that know what his true destiny is who have been who have been ordained by God to judge his actions based on their understanding the understanding from God as to what Gervonta Des, Gervonta Davis's destiny is and how he should go about seeking it and these people are doing it because they have pulled themselves out of the mud and they owe it to God and it's their duty to correct the misunderstandings and misgivings of lesser human beings. Or at least that's what I took from a conversation that I had about Gervonta Davis that I really could not contemplate. However, before I get into this, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button and Thank you to everybody that leaves super thanks. It is very important to the channel. I say it every video because really one guy doing it or one lady doing it really makes the video worth a lot more because, you know, I don't buy views and, you know, I don't play a lot of games and I respect fighters. So I need your support. And let me use that as a segue into this discussion about whether or not, and I've been having this discussion over a series of videos for a couple of weeks. So, you know, please understand that this is like a continuation of other videos. However, Gervonta Davis decided to fight his fourth option that we know of Lamont Roach and Lamont Roach is a reigning world champion. So I thought, that, hey, if one fighter does something and it's good for one fighter, then if another fighter does it, it should be good for that fighter, too, because you have standards, right? So say you have a great fighter like Marvelous Marvin Hagler, who stays at his weight class his entire career, goes to the Hall of Fame and everybody thinks he's one of the greatest fighters ever. Man, think very, very highly of um, of Hagler. So I think, yeah, that's very reasonable. Let's judge him by the standard of marvelous Marvin Hagler. Then I say, let's judge Gervonta Davis by the standard of Aaron Pryor, the 140-pound dynamo who stated one weight division and who is without a doubt a great fighter and recognizes a great fighter and has a tremendous legacy in the sport of boxing. So there are two people that have never moved in weight, never moved up in weight. And I truly, I could go on. 
with fighters that never moved up in weight. They were very disciplined. They did it the old school way. They were in their weight class. They stayed disciplined. They, you know, they lived the game and they were able to stay in that weight class and they fought in that weight class and they dominated that weight class for years and they went to the Hall of Fame, right? Like heavyweights have to do that all the time. Joe Lewis had to do that. So I'd say let's judge Javante Davis by that standard. We don't have to always look and say, look at Floyd. Let's talk about what Floyd did and how Floyd moved up all these divisions. Let's look at Manny and how Manny moved up all these divisions. That's fine. Javante Davis has moved up in divisions, so we can't say that he didn't. But it's not a necessity. It's not mandatory for him to do this thing for greatness, right? So I get this response. And the response, and I won't say the YouTube channel's name. It's all showbiz. So you know who it is. It's all about just doing what you got to do out there, you know, in showbiz. So I get a response from this guy who is not, you know, who they say they are when they're typing. And I can tell by who that would by writing. I have this conversation going on about standards, going on about, look, man, going on about a conversation about, hey, man, if you say that you are right, if you, because showbiz the adult says, um, fuck it, uh, says, hey, I'm holding this guy to a higher standard because I believe he's better than everybody. So I hold him to a higher standard than other people. And then I say, that's mistreating him. Very simple. You, if you hold someone to a diff, a higher standard, you are holding them to a different standard. You have to, you can't hold somebody to a higher standard and be holding them to the same standard as everybody else at the same time. So you're holding to a higher standard, which means that you're holding to a different standard. If you're holding people to a different standard, you are making things, you are being unfair to that person because it's you deciding that they have their own standard because of what's in your head, not what everybody else sees, not what the standard is for the industry or standards are for the fighters, but just your personal opinion. You think that particular guy has a different standard for him. Well, guess what? That's what black, that's what, that's what racist people do to black people all the time. They have a standard for themselves and they got a different standard for other people. They say, uh, when we do these particular type of drugs, like, you know, the type of things that come in a pill form, right? When we do that, oh, and we get addicted. Oh, no, 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 no. What that is, that's a health problem. But when the poor black people are using just cooked up stuff on their stove in the 80s and 90s, oh, no, that's a criminal, that's a criminal epidemic. So you have the same group of people, the same thing, but two standards. When it is these people, it's OK. It's all right. They're just a little sick because we know their nature is good. Oh, these people's nature are bad. So since their natures are bad, we have to punish them. And we know that them, even though they're doing the same thing, we have to have a different standard for them right? That's why you have judges. You have people getting lynched and things like that. We say, oh, we've got, we can go to the court of law. If this guy over here is accused of something, but no, if it's a, if it's this guy, no, put him up on a tree because you know why we have to have that different standard for that guy? Because there's a bunch of people just like them. that can't think they're going to court and getting treated like these guys are being treated. No, they've got a different standard. They are second class citizens. Okay. Showbiz, those are second class citizens. So we in the United States as black people worked very hard to be judged by the same standards as everybody else because we didn't want double standards. We didn't want a standard for me and a standard for you. We want a standard for you and a standard for me. So we know if we do the same thing you do, we'll get the same prizes. So when Gervonta, when you say and people say Gervonta Davis needs to be judged on a different standard, you are saying that you have a double standard for him, which is mistreating him. Also mistreating the industry because you are actively saying that we can have different standards for different people depending on the time of the day and how we feel. No. You have a standard for boxers. You have a, everybody fights 12 rounds. Everybody has boxing gloves on. Everybody, there's a blue corner, there's a red corner, right? There's weight classes. You weigh this amount of money, this amount the day of the day before the fight. Okay? You can rehydrate this much if you're the IBF. Those are rules, those are standards that apply to everybody. The only sanctioned body that I know of that really even kind of comes close to doing that is the IBF. 
who will strip Canelo for not taking a fight with William Skull as quickly as he'll strip anybody. They'll strip as quickly as they'll strip anybody. Uh, Terrence Crawford for not fighting Jerron Ennis immediately. Okay, you have to have the same standards for the same people. And when you insist on having a different standard for Gervonta, you are mistreating Gervonta. Now, the funny thing is, is the reason why people are saying that they, this is okay. They say it is okay because they believe it is their job because of their success in their life. What? You think because you're successful in your life, That means that you have the right to look down on other people and judge what they're doing in their lives so that you can push them towards their ultimate destiny. Or who the hell wrote that for you guys? Who wrote that for you guys? What way up in the cloud, man, my head, I'm so arrogant. I mean, who wrote that? Turkey Al-Sheik, did Turkey Al-Sheik's boss, the Saudi Arabian prince, write that? Because that's the only person that should be thinking like that. Somebody that literally has subjects beneath them. But to have that attitude with a guy like Gervonta Davis, who's a 30-year-old grown man with kids and a successful boxing career that has been around, that has been over a decade, almost over a decade, a decade of successful undefeated fights on big time networks and huge events. He's known worldwide and celebrated worldwide. But you can sit up on your high fucking hog and look down at him on the decisions that he's making while you're doing YouTube videos about him? Man, let's tuck the pompousness. Let's tuck the pompousness. Nobody is better than anybody else, man. I'm not better than anybody. You're not better than anybody. We are regular people, man. Regular people whose job it is to enjoy boxing as a pastime, not to use it as a way to chastise and feel better about ourselves by judging others for being beneath our value system and not wanting to search for our the destiny that I myself believe is there for you. What kind of nonsense, fluffy, overwritten, overproduced nonsense is that? Anyway. I couldn't believe what I heard. I promise you it is the last time I will ever engage. I promise you because I don't need it. But at the same time, man, that's egg on the face. That's egg on the face. You got to tr- judge people by the, the same standard. Otherwise, you're mistreating people. And Jermonte Davis is not beneath you. Since he's not beneath you, you should not have the inclination to feel like you want to judge him. What you are, you guys are trying to do is stick with your same stupid argument that got debunked and just trying to carry it to some super, um, what do you call it? Virtue signaling land where we're talking about the virtues of correcting our, our erring brothers. I am my brother's keeper. No, you're not. Keep your hands off your brother. Keep your, keep your business to yourself. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.